Did you if buy yourself that shirt? For the money, I want it for you, my son. I'm going to say you bought that for yourself. No, he gave okay. it to me as the gift. He told me I'm the best dad ever. Did he? He said, he's the, I'm the best dad he's ever had. Like, which other ones have you had? He just smiled and walked off. And then I'm looking at my wife. Hey everybody, what's going uh, on? Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> you do it then. No, <laughs> backwards. I gotta wear it backwards. I'm cooler. That's right. Number All one right. dad. Number one dads wear backwards hats. Deadpool dads wear Ford hats. Stupid hats. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one. What's going on, everybody? How's uh, it going? What the fuck? Did you <laughs> <laughs> You're such a Just dick. Go. All right. I'm Kyle. I'm Corey. And welcome to Beards on Film. Beards on Film. We should put an action sequence together, too. Or maybe we should do an intro for each type of... I'm not doing that. That's too much work. Yeah, it's freaking 24 hours later. You're like, yeah. I got uh, seven I different intros. Write, I need you to write some music for this. And I'm like... Uh, Nobody so, asked you to, you jackass. <laughs> just like last week where we did the two horror films, uh -huh. scary movies, because uh -huh. I can't say horror. Is it horror or horror? I know it's not horror. That's a bad word. That's your accent coming out. Horror. Is that right? Horror. There you go. Whatever. Uh, last you week can we say did, scary movies. That's what I'm doing. Last week we did two uh, new scary movies, and then we did two <laughs> classic scary movies. And then this week we've already done two... Uh, new comedies that are coming out, and mm. now we're going to do two classic comedies that just happen to be two of our favorites. Yeah, classics to us. Yes, classics to us. Yeah. So we're going to start with yours. Mine? Yes. Ooh, goody. All right. Um, <laughs> so my, my favorite comedy of all time is uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. It was the first R-rated movie I ever saw. Uh, we... we <laughs> I was on VHS. We rented it. Uh, we were visiting some friends, and I think was it was Blockbuster? Schenectady. No, it was before Blockbuster. Oh wow! Yeah, and it was from one of Mam and Pap shops that they got the adult room in the really? back. You know, you can't go. No, this All movie right. wasn't in the adult room, was it? No. Oh, okay. How would I know? I didn't. I don't know. I didn't know what was going on back there. I just know I wasn't allowed. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it, it's got one of my favorite characters in, in all of cinematic history, which is Del Griffith, played by John Candy. The cats are fighting. Cats are fighting. Um, uh, yeah, I love this character so much, as, I'm, as you're aware, that I named the band I'm in after it. So. That's right. But yeah, um, love it. It's like the only Thanksgiving movie that I know. True. Um, so yeah, Steve Martin, John Candy, John Hughes movie. It's friggin' awesome. Anything by John Hughes is awesome. Yeah. Anything. Oh, and, and also, I don't think it's in the trailer because I don't remember what the trailer was like, but um, it was one of the first Kevin Bacon cameos. I don't think know? that is in the trailer. It may be. It be. I actually have never seen the trailer. Yeah. Because he hadn't done much by then. Well, we're going to watch the trailer. Let's watch. Friday the 13th, I think. <laughs> During holiday travel, some people get delirious. Some get delayed. And some get <laughs> Del Griffin. American Light and Fixture, Director of Sales, Shower Curtain Ring Division. Neil Page got all three. I was on my way home to spend a nice holiday with my family. Instead, I'm in a motel bed with a stranger. So instead of Thanksgiving with his family, he's spending three days with the turkey. Oh, nice. Two happy clams just whistling down the road. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones and the Martoni family. Paramount Pictures presents Wilma! Steve Martin. <laughs> you ever been to Hawaii? Yeah. You see Don Ho while you were there? You see the second show, that's the best one. Is that right? Yeah. John Candy. <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Why are you holding my hand? Where's your other hand? Between two pillows. Where's your other hand? Between two pillows. Those aren't pillows. <laughs> Those aren't pillows. <laughs> In a new film by John Hughes. Planes, trains, and automobiles. See that Bears game last week? Yeah, yeah. hell of a game, game. game. <laughs> so for people not familiar with like John Hughes, John Hughes, it, it, even even the classic like um, Christmas movies that we were watching, John Hughes was uh, a part of it in some way. Well, well I'm, I think uh, Home Alone. Oh, um, yeah. Um, uh, That's Christopher, Christopher Columbus. Vacation. Christopher yeah, Columbus. but I think he was he production wrote or wrote it. Think, he yeah. had something to do with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so John Hughes is a legend in, in the comedy world. In the 80s. If yeah. you saw this... Now, would you see it? Yeah, absolutely. And not knowing what Charlie know about it? Yes. I would too, because John Candy and uh, Steve Martin are like mm -hmm. two of my favorites. And unfortunately, John Candy's no longer with us, but this isn't even my favorite John Candy film. My what? favorite John Candy film is The Great Outdoors. Oh, good dude. Love I love The that Great movie. Outdoors. Okay, yeah. I get so, it. Um, Chet. <laughs> and I'm not even really sure that this is my favorite Steve Martin film, um, as I'm a huge fan of uh, Three Amigos. Yeah. Um, but them together make an amazing it's film. A sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, it, it, what I really appreciated about this trailer was um, all the stuff that's not in the film. There's a lot right. of stuff in that trailer that's not actually in the film. And I, I've seen that movie so many times, so that any little type, type of part that's that doesn't seem right i mean I, I spotted a bunch of it like there's stuff in the car there was stuff when he was like singing in the mirror and stuff like that yeah. in the bathroom i was like i don't remember seeing that there was a conversation with um dell in the bed about sharing a bed with a stranger and then there's a part with him like eating pizza i'm like that didn't happen in the movie there's something else too that i will say the is whole that why thing sorry that and, and i think they did it on purpose yeah um back then they just shot a bunch of crap and yeah Put it in the trailer. And, and on top of that, the trailer didn't even show the funniest parts of this movie. Oh, not even close. Right. Yeah. Um, and so that's what I love is when I'm like, okay, the trailer looks great. I'm going to go see it. And then when you get there, you're like, oh, my God, it was so good. And, and the best parts. And we talked about that last one where we did mm -hmm. where the new, the new films feel like the best parts may actually be in the trailer. Um, so I think like <laughs> they showed part of like my favorite part. Like one of the favorite parts, my favorite, my, I, I can't tell you which one of my favorite parts is. I mean, I, the, the scene where he goes back or uh, Neil Page, uh, Steve Martin's character goes back and once the the rental car is not there and just starts blowing off all that, the fucking F-bombs. Wow. Yeah. I said fuck and then I said F-bombs. F -bombs. Um, but no, it's the part where he um, he runs into that guy, the the guy that's running like the, the, the rental car, service, yeah. the car rental service. like. And he, uh, a part he, insult, of it in he insults him, and then he punches him in the face, and then John Candy almost hits him, and then he's like, you pick him up. He's like, my pleasure, and he picks him up by his balls, <laughs> and that whole conversation, he's like, I've never seen someone picked up by their testicles before. <laughs> almost <laughs> crushed your head like a melon. <laughs> that, that part of that, you're right, part of that scene was in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he gets hit in the face, and, then, yeah. and he goes back. Um, <laughs> he's like, if I wanted a joke, I'd follow you in the john and watch you take a leak. <laughs> Um, I fucking love that movie. And what's funny about uh, this movie, John Candy plays not the same character, but he plays very reminiscent kind of a uh, homage to Dell in Home Alone. Where yeah, yeah, he plays he plays the Poker Gus, King, whatever. Yeah, the, the Poker King, Poker King. Yeah, um, and he needs to. He helps uh, Kevin's mother get home. Yep. I mean, they're all in the back of the U-Haul truck. Uh, like, so well, you brought it up. She's like, "Well, I wish I hadn't." <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, talking about leaving his like son or nephew in the the freaking uh, mortuary, yeah, <laughs> with the dead bodies. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was in the, all all he was in there all day with a corpse. <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> oh, anyway, man. sorry. Yeah, uh, we need to watch Great Outdoors again. We, we do. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the second one. Yes. The second one is actually my favorite. Yes, it is. Um, I've seen this movie. Oh my god! And I'm going to try not to quote the entire trailer because I guarantee I can. Because then uh, you're going to have a hard time syncing it up, right? So I know, right? Mm. But I'm not going to stop it. So no, yeah, I, I, I may be able to sync it up real good. Nice. Uh, so this is Birdcage. Um, Robin Williams. We've already mentioned this. In one we of have videos, in our yeah. actual first, I think, our first yeah. live podcast ever. Uh, Robin Williams. Um, Gene Hackman, Hank Azaria, Hank yeah. Azaria. Uh, it, there's there's so many. Cluster Flockhart, Nyan mm -hmm. we, we, West, 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 yeah, um, 
That's Nathan Lane. Weist. So <laughs> let's check out the trailer, and I'm going to try to say based on the trailer when I see it. Okay. Yes, I would. Pop. Mm, nice. I'm getting married. <laughs> it's a girl. I, I met her at school. It's this wonderful. Uh, what, what do you? Are you upset? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you Let why. Me tell you why. <laughs> Don't use that tone to me. What tone? Okay. That sarcastic, contemptuous tone that means you know everything. Because you know you're, you're a man, I know and I know because something. I'm because I'm a woman. You're not a woman. Oh, <laughs> you bastard! Are you crazy? You can't get married. It's out of the question. We've been sleeping together for a year. Oh, God. That's me. Has he been tested? No. Yes, and oh, so have I. Kevin. Yes, and so have I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's his father? His father is in the arts. You do an eclectic celebration of the this dance. Is you. you do Fosse, Fosse, Fosse. You do Martha Graham, Martha Graham, Martha Graham. Madonna, you know, Madonna, 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 Madonna. But you keep it all inside. What does the mother do? She's a housewife. Oh, I could play it straight. You take your knife. And you smear. And you smear. Men smear. Men smear. Smear, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Get the <laughs> oh, we cut out the fucking in there. The yeah. I said I was going to stop. Al, you old so and so. How do you feel about that call? I think today? I feel I mean, the betrayed, Dolphins, bewildered. Fourth and three play on their thirty-yard line with only thirty-four seconds to go. How do you think I feel? Betrayed, bewildered. <laughs> call me. Boom. Perfect. I do not wear shoes because they make Won't me fall down. Come in? <laughs> Senator Keeley, Mrs. Keeley, come here and give me a hug. Oh! <laughs> I've never felt such tension. It's like riding a psychotic horse towards a burning stable. Oh God, it's a nightmare. <laughs> oh, something about the father and the skull. I can't put my nothing. finger on it's it. It's nothing. What do you mean? It's nothing. It is Dad, something. It is nothing. Something very strange is going on. So, awesome. I got to ask this question a while back. Could they make this movie today? Sure they could. It, it, it wouldn't be the same movie. Right. I mean... <sighs> You're saying, could they release it today as a brand new film? No, 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 no. Um, could they get away with the political incorrectness of this movie today with... Society the way that it is. I, I believe that they could. Absolutely. Um, I think it, would, it wouldn't be, it would be like on Netflix or something. It right. Would, it wouldn't be like a... Hit a, the theaters. Right. Um, I just, I, I love everything about this movie. It And, and again, kind of like playing Strange and Automobiles, they didn't show all the best parts. Like, yeah. And again, you have, I'm going into this like I've never seen the movie, but yeah. in the movie there is so much. Like, like they show... Uh, Nathan Lane as his mother, but they don't even show the whole backstory of him no, trying to get his mother, which I cannot remember her name, but she was in uh, she was in The Grinch. She was in she Ref. Was, uh, she was in... Um, I can't think of her name either. I know, oh, yeah. uh, uh, Mama Mia. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so many great <clears throat> lines come from that movie that we still use today. As a matter of fact, our iRobot around here is named Agador. Agador, yeah. Uh, for Hank Azara's uh, part, um, just a just a classic comedy. Love that movie, and everybody that I spoke to has ever seen it. They love that movie. Yeah, so, there's only one part about that movie that I don't like. Which is what you know. I don't. Yeah, you do. Which one? I don't. It's not which one. Okay, so there's only one part about that movie I don't like, and and every time we watch it, I always say it, and you always seem to forget. Um, it's because this going on. Right here, right? We'll touch me. <laughs> it. Uh, the fact that he asks them to pretend to be somebody they're not. Oh yeah, I know that, that drives you that. me. And he and he crazy. says, "Well, you you let me do it when I was in third grade." And he because uh, because of the teacher, and he's like, uh, "Miss Also was a small minded idiot, and you're a baby, <laughs> and you're a boy. I don't want you to get hurt." I can still get hurt. Yeah. Um, it, it's a uh, yeah, it's and I, but that, that's that's I mean it's, that's it's, society now. It's driving to. I, I, you're right. It is, but it's just. That's the only part I don't like. Yeah. Because I grew up with, I mean, so did you. We grew, right. grew up with a lot of, you know, we both have gay relatives and stuff like that. So it's, I think it's just always been one of those things that we just, it, right. there was nothing other than, I mean, it was, we didn't think of anything else, you know, anything different. So like for somebody to pretend to be something or not, not. to make somebody happy, just like that bugs me. Yeah. And I think, but that's, that's it. I mean, and, uh, but that, other than that, it's, I mean, it's, it's needed to make the movie 
go where it needs to go. Um, this movie also has one of the greatest bloopers ever that they kept in the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they're in the kitchen and Robin Williams has the pot <laughs> and he slips and falls. <laughs> Fuck and the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> he starts laughing, and he starts laughing, yeah. and Hank is trying not to laugh, and the son's trying not to laugh, and mm-hmm. he grabs the juice, and, he's, and Hank just drops the shrimp into the thing. He's like, fuck the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they kept it in, and I actually remember yeah. watching behind the scenes where they're talking about how they kept that in. I love um, stuff like that. But this has been great. I love these two yeah. movies. I'm actually probably now going to have to watch both of them. We're, we're just, yeah, uh, we're just going to have to put it on right we're now. We're just going to have to. Yeah. Um, again, thanks for joining us. Thanks If you have any suggestions, I think we should do... Uh, sci-fi next. Okay. New sci-fi and then classic sci-fi. Okay. Yeah. I'm not picking Star Wars. Good. Don't. Because it's not sci-fi. It's not. No. It's science fiction fantasy. My name is Corey. I'm Kyle. And thank you for joining Beards on Film. Peace.